Did you know that almost every chronic disease we face today, from heart disease to diabetes to arthritis and even depression, has one thing in common. It's called inflammation. Inflammation, often called the silent killer, because it quietly damages our bodies for years before we even notice symptoms. But here's the fascinating part. The key to reducing inflammation and helping our bodies heal actually starts in a place most of us will never think about. It's called the gut. Let's think of your gut as a command center for your health. It's home to trillions of bacteria forming what scientists call the microbiome. Imagine your gut as a bustling city with good bacteria acting as helpful citizens, keeping everything running smoothly. And bad bacteria, like troublemakers, causing chaos. About 70% of your immune system lives in your gut. The balance of these bacteria can either trigger or calm inflammation throughout your body. When your gut is healthy, it produces powerful compounds called short-chain fatty acids. Think of short-chain fatty acids as natural firefighters moving through your body to put out the flames of inflammation. They soothe your immune system, helping repair damaged tissues and even supporting the lining of your gut, your body's first line of defense. But when your gut is out of balance, which many of us have that condition right now, maybe from too much processed foods, chronic stress, or even antibiotics. It's like the city goes into chaos. The bad bacteria take over, the protective lining gets damaged, and inflammation can spread, leading to problems like fatigue, brain fog, joint pain, or even increased risks of serious diseases. And here's a quick story to give you a good analogy. Imagine two people. One eats a diet rich in fiber, fruits, and fermented foods. The other lives on fast food. Sounds familiar? Sugars and soda. The first person's gut is like a well-tended garden full of vibrant flowers and helpful insects. The second person's gut is like a neglected yard overrun with weeds and pests. Which garden do you think is better at fighting off disease and bouncing back from stress? The answer, obviously, is the same that goes for your gut. But here's the good news. You have the power to transform your gut and your health with simple everyday choices. Start by adding more prebiotic-rich foods to your diet, like bananas, onions, garlic, as well as oats. These act as fertilizer for the good gut bacteria, helping them grow and produce those vital short-chain fatty acids. Fermented foods like yogurt, kimchi, and sauerkraut are like bringing in reinforcements, introducing even more beneficial bacteria. So cutting back on processed foods and adding sugars is crucial since these feed the bad bacteria and ramp up inflammation in our body. Picture sugar as junk food for troublemakers in your gut. It gives them the fuel they need to multiply and cause even more chaos. And don't forget staying hydrated and managing stress are just as important for your gut as what you eat. Chronic stress is like a natural disaster. Your gut does not like that. It actually can change your gut bacteria, weakening your defenses and making inflammation so much worse. And let me get briefly into more physiology. When you eat fiber, your good gut bacteria ferment it and produce short-chain fatty acids like butyrate, propionate, and acetate. Butyrate, in particular, is a superstar. It not only calms inflammation, but also helps strengthen the gut barrier. I want you to think of it as repairing the walls of your city to keep invaders out. If the gut barrier is damaged, toxins and bacteria can leak into your bloodstream, triggering an immune response and more inflammation. The phenomena is known as leaky gut. This is why gut health is linked not just to digestion, but to your entire body, including your brain as well as your mood. And here's something really interesting. Researchers have found that people who eat a diet high in fiber and fermented foods not only have lower levels of inflammation, but also report better mood, clearer skin, and more energy. And in fact, a study from Stanford University 
show that people who added more fermented foods in their diet had a decrease in inflammation markers in just a few weeks. I recently heard from someone who struggled for years with joint pain and digestive issues, only to see dramatic improvements after focusing on gut health. Simply by adding more fiber, fermented foods to their diet, their meals, it's amazing how quickly your body will start to heal when you give it the right support. So if you're ready to take charge of your health, you need to start with your gut. I challenge you for the next week, try adding just one new gut-friendly food to your meals every day. Maybe it's a serving of sauerkraut with lunch or a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. Pay attention to how you eat. Notice any changes in your energy, your mood or digestion. And no matter what you're suffering with, what ailment you may be having right now in your body, whatever disease, you need to get rid of the inflammation and it all starts within the gut. Healing and repair begins from the inside out. And by nurturing your gut, you're giving your body the tools it needs to fight inflammation, the tools it needs to recover and thrive. Think every healthy choice as another brick in the foundation of your well-being. If you found this information helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Please leave your comments below. I'm sure there'll be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.